Hi everyone, my name is Tia. We are stopped at Barnes and Noble today and <laughs> I am trying my hardest not to spend money. We shall see, so let's go. Doesn't it just look so grand? I love the front of their store. It just makes you feel so special walking into it. I saw this on Goodreads and I immediately put it on my TBR. Everything I learned, I learned in a Chinese restaurant. It's a memoir and an invitation to step inside one boy's childhood oasis, scoot into a vinyl booth and grow up with him. Perhaps even share something off the secret menu. Isn't that just so homey? Like, of course, in Chinese culture, like food is our love language, but like, that just sounds so homey. Okay, first of all, Thicker Than Water by Kerry Washington. I love her and I love this cover. A memoir in two stories to name the bigger lie. Oh, powerful pull of dangerous conspiracy theories and the pliability of personal narratives in a world dominated by hoax and fakes. Consider me interested. That was a good blurb, huh? He, she, they. How we talk about gender and why it matters. Oh, yes. I love the sociology of gender. Radiating radical trans joy. That's fantastic. A life of one's own. What a simple yet stunning cover. <laughs> the expectant detectives. Truly, I can confidently say this is a cover like no other. The art of desire. Trouble comes in threes, but true love only comes once. Book math. Buying the series means you only really bought one book. Wow. Can you believe that this is one book? <gasps> the font is so small. That's insane. Oh, where's the, doesn't even have the title on the front. That is so crazy. I did not know the font was so small in these books. Oh, falling in love with books. Let's see what the, <gasps> guys, it's here. <laughs> it's here. Should I just sit here and, and read the whole thing? Oh, it's a different size. I forgot. That's also something I have to take into account because I have the independently published versions and this is going to be a different spine size. But also I'm obviously so happy for her that she's now a traditionally published author. Should I get it? <laughs> Okay, I know where it is. Maybe I'll come back to it. And I love the gold. Like I really enjoy the gold. Her foot covers are not my favorite, but this one I can honestly get behind, which is weird. The spy and I. Okay, she looks tiny next to him. Oh, all roads lead here. Wait, why is this so much smaller than I thought? I thought hers was like a slow burn. Oh my God, the bakery. I didn't eat lunch, that smells so good. Holy cow. This book is huge. I have this on my bookshelf, but I have like the tiny version. Imagine holding this and like reading it like this. I can't, I could never. This, I don't know anything about it, but I know that Sunny Kim, who is one of my favorite booktubers, also likes this book. So Let Them Burn. This was in my 50 2024 releases that like definitely really interests me. A dragon took her sister. She'll set the world on fire to bring her back. Isn't that so good? Dark star burning, ash falls white. Not gonna lie, that's kind of a hard, <laughs> Ooh, pretty. That's a hard title to remember. <laughs> My friend told me that she could not get through pucking around. Like she got like this much through and she was like, I can't do anymore. See, like this one I don't like. Like this, the other cover is so much more artistic and representative of what the story is. But like this is just feet. Guys, they have a Taylor display. Oh my God. Are you freaking kidding me? That's awesome. I love the people who work here. That's beautiful. For Taylor Swift, they recommended The Summer I Turned Pretty and The Upside of Falling. Fearless and You Belong With Me. I love this cover. I think that's so cute. Speak Now, yeah. Red. <laughs> they have The Scarlet Letter. Oh, they recommended an Emma Lord. I love Emma Lord. I can't judge these. Who am I to say if these are good recommendations or not? What a touch. They just have like this tiny cat poems at the bottom. The Poppy War for Midnight? I don't know. How. I know I said I wouldn't judge, but I don't know how I feel about that. That is seriously so cool. I love it. Let me know what you guys think of this. Did they do a good job? The fonts in these books these days are so small. <gasps> I've seen it in store. I love this book. Say I'll Be Mine by Nina Kumar. Probably one of my favorite romance arcs I got last year. Literally so good. The characters have so much depth 
to them. And also this is her first novel ever. She's like a lawyer and she just writes romance in her free time. It was so good. I made my best friend read it and she was like sobbing, crying because she was so happy at the end. I've heard okay things about this one. The cover is so good, but it just, I don't really care about Peter Pan. See this one too, giving very feet vibes. The only one that I really like is the newest one. This one's not bad, but these green shoes are like atrocious. I just found this at my library. I bought it for $3. Love that for me. How do you guys like the new covers of the off-campus series? Like this versus this. I think this is way better, but I've never read it. Baby moon or bust? One bump, two strangers. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. One bump, two strangers. Miss Abby Jimenez, how I love you. Oh, a corgi. Too good to be real. <laughs> oh, you with a view. I've heard so many good things about this one. I really want to read it. Noelle Shepard is unemployed, living with her parents, and grieving the loss of her beloved grandma when she discovers decades-old photos of Graham and a smitten man <laughs> tucked alongside a love letter. In the event of love... You know what's interesting? I just watched the plight of lesbian romance novels, specifically how like a lot of books are geared towards like femme femme romances. There's not a lot of like butch love in lesbian traditionally published works. And if it is a lesbian romance, a lot of times it's written kind of poorly and I kind of feel the same way, but I haven't really ventured like too much in. But, like I just noticed this is the first lesbian romance I picked up and they're like both pretty femme. I don't know, she's wearing a flannel, but that doesn't count like. <laughs> That doesn't matter. This was on a lot of people's top 2023 reads. Rescue me. Dude, the dog is so cute. The doodle is so good. I did not know the Zodiac Academy books were this big. Oh my God. Look at number seven. I have a fat head and like, <laughs> that's insane. I cannot read this book. <laughs> I really like The Hating Game, but this guy's oh no wait not this one this book was okay but one of her other books it's my brother's name and i was like i literally physically cannot read this or i'm gonna throw up like there's so many very popular male romance lead names like imagine if your brother's name was nick or josh so many books you'd just be like ew that's my brother <laughs> Ways of Tommen? I didn't know they sold this in store. I've heard lots of good things about this. Again, it's just tiny font, big book. Scary. <laughs> I think I saw this at a different bookstore and I really was interested. Adult assembly required. It's like found family, which is so cute. I do love me some young adult, especially young adult mysteries. Firekeeper's Daughter. Oh, my friend who read this said she loved it. It was really good. I loved you in another life. Oh, the murder game? <laughs> Oh my god, it's a skull with pencils. Oh god, the font is so YA. Do you know what I mean? Instead of admitting where they were, the group decides to solve the murder on their own. See, why would you do that? Why would you think that's a good idea? Don't ask me where I'm from. This is a beautiful cover. Highly suspicious and unfairly cute. I want to read this so bad. I've heard so many good things about it, but the audiobook narrator has an accent, and those are tough for me. Honey and Ishu's Guide to Fake Dating. <gasps> that is so cute. What is this? can't tell anyone the truth about their relationship. Not their parents, not their best friends. Ooh, what happened on Hicks Road? I don't like the font. Oh, this is such a sick cover. Sofia La Puente Retro. This looks like the end of a comic, you know, where they're all in the getaway car. Secrets, lies, betrayal. <laughs> you know me well. Aw, Kate's in love with Violet. Mark's in love with Ryan. The hard part comes next. <laughs> Deeply honest story about navigating the joys and heartaches of first love, one truth at a time. I cannot for the life of me put books back today. Missing Clarissa. Everyone loves a dead girl. Oh my god. This is something without even knowing what it's about. Like, this is something I would totally read blind. It's so up my alley. In August 1999, dabbling popular cheerleader Clarissa disappears from a party. Ooh, more than 20 years later, Orville Hyde Jr.'s and best friends start a true crime podcast. Oh, okay. I don't really love the podcast stuff anymore, but does an ugly history with a missing girl make him guilty of murder? Mm. I'll look into that more. <gasps> I hope this doesn't find you. Oh, I haven't seen this in person. I loved this. You guys need to read it. It was so freaking cute. Academic Rivals to Lovers. It was so good. It was so good. How to Find a Missing Girl. Again, this is a book. Immediately. I just want to read it. Like, the cover is so good. I love YA mysteries. One of my favorite genres. A year ago, beloved... Okay, yeah, and it always involves cheerleaders. <laughs> okay, beloved cheerleader vanishes... 
Younger sister launches investigation. What the heck? And then her sister's ex-girlfriend goes missing. Oh my god. Interspersed with immersive podcast episodes. I don't know what it is. I feel like after A Good Girl's Guide to Murder, all these YA mysteries were like, ah, podcast, podcast genre. But now I'm tired of the podcast genre. Oh, look, another one. Oh, this is way smaller than I thought. But granted, they're quite large. The Reds That Bind is a beautiful cover. What the River Knows, I want to read. I've heard really good things about that. Furyborn, I think is something that Carrie can read recommended that's been on my tbr for a while whoa that is terrifying it's like 3d oh my god <laughs> the raven king i never read the raven boys trilogy but i kind of want to oh my god look they have six copies this time guys the last time i was here i was so excited about this book i listened to the audiobook love the narrators but i thought this was so okay <laughs> I'm gonna read the next ones because the setup for the sequels are so good but like this I, I was like pretty disappointed because so many people were hyping it up I don't know I gotta set my expectations way lower for so many things <laughs> I keep getting disappointed by big releases even though it's not the book's fault it's just in my head I thought they would be better all right guys should I do it should I buy Magnolia Parks <laughs> You guys know how I feel about spending money. I don't feel good about it. Uh, okay, you know what? Maybe I'll read the first chapter here. Oh, you know what? They even have an upstairs. I don't really go up there. Let's go find a quiet spot to read this. Do you ever, like I like, like this one has a little boink, so I don't want to take that one. Here, I like this one. Let's go read upstairs. <laughs> Escalators used to really scare me. That is so cute. Barnes and Noble's Junior. That was one of my favorite books as a kid. Now that I'm upstairs, I realize people come here for like a quiet time. So I probably should shut up. <laughs> I'm gonna read a little bit of this. I will keep you updated. pages of this and I need to take it home with me. Like, I can't, I can't do this. I have to keep reading in the comfort of my own home. Biggie sniffing my purchase. <laughs> oh, so sweet. Yawn. I wanted to show you what the traditionally published would look like next to the indie published copy that I have. Let me take my beloved happy place for now out. I'm so glad I have the original covers. I know you can still get them though. I think you just have to purchase like from her website or something. But if I slide this new bad boy in, oh my God, I hate that. <laughs> okay, that's okay. They're different. That was expected. I think I will be doing a reading vlog of this book. I'm so, so excited to continue the series. If the reading vlog is already out, I will link it below. But if not, oh my God. Are you done? All right, cool. If not, I will be sharing my thoughts in an upcoming vlog. Thank you guys so much. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week and I will see you in the next one. Bye.